Kaboom into minutes if you can't create this Excel sheet from scratch without touching the mouse. Type in the Google HTTP so we can just go to Google directly from Excel without using the mouse. Gonna right click keyboard button OO to get Google. I'm gonna Google chore list. I tab down to where it says 15 items more. That way I can get everything. Control A, Control C, Alt tab back to the Excel sheet. Right click keyboard button ST, enter to paste text only and no goofy pictures. Gonna get rid of all the stuff that's not the chore list. There's a bunch of junk under this. I'm gonna delete that. Alt HOI to resize columns. We're gonna do days of the week, so type a one. Alt H F I S to make a series go one through seven. And I'm gonna format that into the days of the week. So custom format. It's down here. Type in four Ds. And we get the days of the week. Now we need three people. I'm gonna pick three kids or roommates, whatever you want to call them. Mike, Al, and Ryan. Now I'm going to use a choose formula equals rand between one and three. Pick a number between one and three, Excel. And then we're going to pick Mike, anchor that with F4, pick Al, anchor him with F4, pick Ryan, anchor F4. That's how we're going to assign the chores randomly to three people. Copy down and over, and there we go. Zooming out is control alt minus sign, by the way. So let's use a count if formula to see how fair the list is assigned. It's going to tell me how much Mike has, Al, and Ryan. All right, we got a message from Solomon. He's evil bad guy hacker. Real quick, do the standard deviation. Basically, the closer to zero, the closer the totals are. And like I thought, he's telling us that it's not fair. we got to do an equal amount of chores. So what do we do here? How do we do that? Uh, we're going to use Solver. It's a free Excel add-in. We're going to make a corresponding chart and dummy in all ones here. I'm going to change the formula. Instead of rand between, I'm going to have it choose from that chart that we made. Sorry, Mike. You get all the chores for now. But we're going to use Solver to fix that. Standard deviation is our target. Alt A Y3 to pull up solver. And solver, we want to target minimum standard deviation. And we pick our variable cells first. I'm going to make sure they're equal, or less than or equal to a three. Add another constraint, they have to be greater than or equal to one. And the third constraint, we have to make sure they're all integers, INT. So we pick a whole number, not a decimal number. We're going to pick evolutionary for the solve method, hit solve, and we're going to wait. And hopefully this takes less than 55 seconds. All right. Looks like we got everyone equally assigned. Solomon's back with more smack to talk. What does he say? Still not fair. Assign weight to each chore. So what he's saying, I think, is... Mopping and feeding the pets are not equally difficult, so that's not really fair. So let's put in a column that says difficulty, and I'm going to assign just ran between 1 through 5. We can always change that later. Um, I'm going to copy down and then copy paste special values just to lock that in. I'm going to change this formula, and instead of counting the whole chart, I'm just going to count row by row. And then multiply by the difficulty. And that'll give me a total of chore numbers times the difficulty. So now we want to total these three columns. I'm going to put the standard deviation down here because we're going to take a standard deviation of the total. And again, to get them equal as possible, we want standard deviation zero or at least less than one. Change the standard deviation calculation cells. Keep all solver targets the same, pull up solver again, and I should just be able to hit enter to recalculate. And hopefully it gets done before 49 seconds or blammo. All right. That looks pretty fair to me. Not quite zero, but Solomon's saying.
Guys, he thinks our spreadsheet's ugly. We got 30 seconds to make it look good. Okay. Alt HJ, change the title. Alt HJ, change the headers to something else. Change this stuff around to other formatting just to kind of have some variation there. Let's see. And then let's change the font. Control A, Alt HFF. I'm going to go with Badani font. You stop the time, stop the bomb. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 10%. We got to do 10% cuter. So put a graphic in the spreadsheet. Alt N S3 S T O. Pick an online graphic. We're going to type in the word home. Select that home picture. Okay, I, I want that to go faster. I want it to move faster. Alt P A A. Snap the grid as P. All right, we're able to move it faster. Good. Hold down shift, down arrow to make the house smaller. Got eight seconds. Um, let's do a tilt here. Alt Y2 V. And I like this one. Okay. Barely made it. Barely made it. Barely made it. And we got one last task. Eliminated some of the tasks because we don't do all these chores on a weekly basis. We're going to remove some. This should be just as easy as deleting them. And we're going to rerun Solver. And it should just run. Four, three, two, one. Okay. All right. Beat it. Take that, Solomon. Get out of here. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, Solomon. So he's, he's going to go away. Yep, go away. Gone for now, and we have our chore list. Thanks for watching.